Hey everybody, what's up? Fans of Bakugan, it's D Heart gonna open Colossus. True Metal Colossus. Platinum Colossus. He also comes with Aquos Nano Riptide and Heos Nano Siphon. There's a snapshot of them quick on the back. I understand that if I would have had one of these Nanogon at the tournament that I just went to in Southern California with all those friends, I it would have been super helpful for the team that I ran. Uh, so I'm going to look at that. I'm going to look at these guys, see if they're good, see how they're good, see how they would have helped me. My problem is I found these too late before I went to the tournament on Saturday. And here it is Monday. I found them too late to open them up and bring them with me. I left them in the package. Pyrus Colossus looks cool. Look at that guy, sweet. And here are the Nanogon up here. Give a quick blurb about how they work in the trading card game, but let's just see these. This is Nano Siphon. And you're gonna have to forgive me. I don't know. I don't know which way he's supposed to look when he opens. <laughs> his face looks cool though. I'm imagining that's his teeth. When I see his card, it's gonna make sense, right? Okay, so here he is. He doesn't have a peg, does he? The other guy's had a peg. Oh, there it is. You flip him up. Oh. There we go. So now he can peg onto the Bakugan, so we'll put him on top of Colossus like this. Nice. If that's not the right way to do it, go ahead and laugh at me in the comments and make fun of me. I don't know. Is that how you do it? Either way, it's cool. <laughs> I think it's cool. Um, okay, and then here is Nano Riptide. Ball form. Open him up. That... Is that all he does? That's what he does. Okay. Is there more? Is that his peg right here? Okay, you can flip up his peg. Does he come out the other way? No, I'll break him if I do that. What about the... It looks like this... Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. See, these are just as new to me. I don't know how they're supposed to... He is so hard to open that way. I guess you gotta use his head, huh? I think. There we go. Riptide. Okay, so what does he look like if I put him on Colossus? Attach him. That's pretty sweet. I guess you could probably fold up his wing like this, huh? Nice. Look at that. It's actually kind of cool. He is intricate. He's more intricate than the ones I've seen before, I think. Okay, I'm gonna leave them both right here. Let's look at these cards. So the way that Nanogon work is, uh, well, let's see this. Here's the gate card, Drago, sweet. The way that these cards work is, you have, you can have as much, as many as three on your team. And the three that you have have to match the factions of the Bakugan that you choose to be on your team. So if you had three Pyrus Bakugan, you'd have to have three Pyrus Nanogon. Um, so as I have my three on my team, when I start the game, what they say is you just keep them face down, you know, in a zone. I don't know if you put them up here to begin with, just so you know. So you have three Nanogon, they're face down, or the Nanogon are closed to signify that they have not been activated yet. And then one time per game and only one per turn, you can activate one. And how you do that is you just say you're gonna use them. You flip them over. And if your Bakugan meet the criteria here on the bottom, so if one of your Bakugan is holding a magic shield, that means that when you flip over Nano Siphon during your turn, you get to pick up a core from the field, from the matrix, and add it to your active Bakugan. So if your active Bakugan opened and it was Colossus, he has a core, let's just say he has a magic shield. 
If you had a magic shield, that means you can flip over siphon and you get to pick up, add the plus sign, add a core from the matrix onto Colossus. So then he would have two cores. That's how you use him. If you wait on Siphon until all of your Bakugan are holding a Magic Shield and a Green Fist, so that means that if Colossus has a Green Fist and another one of your Bakugan have a Magic Shield and they're both open, then you can say, hey, I'm going to play Siphon now, and you get to the arrow. It means that you get to take the core that your opponent has, one of the cores your opponent has, and put it onto your active Bakugan. So if it was... Colossus, and you met these two criteria down here, Magic Shield and Green Fist, then you would just take your opponent's Bakugan's core and put it onto Colossus. I hope that made sense. They can be super powerful. <laughs> it can be super powerful to play with these core changing mechanics like this. So I would have run. Actually, no, I wouldn't have. In my team, I didn't even have any Magic Shields, so maybe not. Um, but you can see how he, he would be powerful. So that's Nano Siphon. Um... You can't activate two of these guys on the same turn. It's just one Nanogon per turn. So let's say one turn I activate Siphon, he's good. Then the next turn, I meet some of these criteria here on Nano Riptide. My team, a Bakugan, either one of them, two of them, or all three of them, are holding uh, a Green Fist and a Shield. If they are, I can flip over Riptide and say I'm going to take my opponent's core, one of my opponent's cores from their active Bakugan, and put it down under the matrix. So you, you get to steal their core. If they're holding two green fists and a shield, your Bakugan, open Bakugan, two green fists and a shield, you get to take your opponent's core and you also get 1400B. Huge bonus. So these Nanogon, as you can tell, you base them on your team, the components of your team's cores, you choose the right Nanogon, and they're just super powerful. You get to flip them over for free. They go outside of your 40 card deck, so you don't have to include them in your 40 card deck. These are just on the side, up to three of them. So there you go, Siphon and Riptide. Uh, let's go back and look at Colossus now. What was he like? Pyrus Platinum Colossus comes with a shield and a green fist. So these Nanogon, well, at least Riptide certainly applies to Pyrus Platinum Colossus. Um, he has 600B, 7 damage. So the highest that he's getting up to, they didn't give us a 400 core, but um, they do come in 400, so he could get up to 1000B and 7 damage. The 7 damage is high, that's pretty cool. On a green fist, if you're doing damage wins, they didn't give us a plus 3 damage, but he could get up to 10 damage if you're doing damage wins with my Incendius, Mac, or Dark Rage. So that's a pretty high, that's a pretty high damage rating, and he still has 600B, so that's not bad either. If you pair him with somebody on your team that has a Helix or a Magic Shield, he's still getting up to 1200. Um, and so if you're sharing, let's just say this for example, you're running Colossus, and another Bakugan on your team has a Magic Shield. So the Green Fist from Colossus and the Magic Shield from your other Bakugan. If you open up Colossus on a Green Fist and win somehow, damage wins maybe. And then the next turn you roll on your magic shield. Then you can flip over Siphon and say, I have a magic shield, I have a green fist. Now give me your core. And you steal it from your opponent's Bakugan. So there we go. All right, let's move all these aside now. And let's close up and roll Colossus. I think his feet are supposed to go first. Okay, there we go. All right, let's grab this core, set it here. Here's what he looks like closed. Got the fire tattoos. Magnets on the metal side down here. There's his arrow. So we'll just roll him from here. Uh, give him a little push. Sweet. Let's do it quicker though. Let me try this. Let's roll him fast and see if he will stay on his core. I'll roll him from six hexes away. The uh, two card lengths. Here we go. Look at that. He stopped on his chin and he didn't fall off of his core. It's pretty cool. All right, what do you think of Colossus? Nano Riptide? Hail Siphon? Did you like him? What'd you think? What'd you get this guy? Let me know.